Hi again, Neville from Osco Campus. Um, I'm just going to talk briefly about the uh, electronics of the vehicle. Um, most uh, buses and uh, trucks or light vehicles like this are 24 volt. Now, the problem with 24 volt is that when you want to put a, uh, a TV in, they're all 12 volt. Um, uh, different things like the water pumps, you can get them in 24, and the fridges you can get 12, 24, but invariably, uh, lights and things like that, there's a lot more to choose from. It's a lot cheaper if they're 12 volt. So if you can convert your 24 to 12 right at the source, um, ultimately that's going to be a better thing to do. Now, uh, one way of doing that is to put in, uh, in addition to your 24 volt alternator, a 12 volt alternator, and that just runs straight to your secondary or your house batteries, right? Which, you, which then are 12 volt batteries, okay? Um, what I'm doing in this, which is uh, which is now considered the way to go, as a, as an easy uh, anyone can do it, is to put in what's called a um, a 24 to 12 volt battery charger. Okay, so they're about um, anywhere from $350 um, up to $560. Uh, what they will do is you can you wire straight into your uh, 24 volt. Um, Outputs, they're, they're very simple to do, and then you you're, um, you connect them to your 12 volt battery uh, or both 12 volt batteries if you've got one or two uh, additional house or secondary batteries. And they're the batteries that you operate everything off, okay? Um, so there we've got our 12 volt system, okay? So that's really good. So now we can just run 12 volt wiring, uh, like so. 12 volt wiring, wiring through the vehicle. Use good wiring because if you use thin wire, it's going to lose its um, its quality over distance. Um, and um, up in the roof here, we've got uh, straight just from Bunnings. We've got some nice stainless steel lights. I've just used kitchen lights with 12 volt, 20 amp. I think they are or 20 watt. They're, they're low drawing lights, easy to install. Power, earth, negative, positive to your lights, a couple of switches in between. So battery, switch, lights. Uh, it's, it's really simple. Um, so that's the 12 volt for our lights and that'll also run, I've got a 12 volt water pump. I've also got a 12 volt TV. And um, if I want to, I can use the 12 volt, which I will on my three way fridge as well. And that'll all be running off the, um, the 24, to 12 volt charger, and the particular one I'm using is outputting 20 amps. So it's got some grunt, and that's good too. Um, that's all for now on the 12 volt. There's nothing more to say about the 12 volt except in your dashboard, um, it's probably easier to run a separate um, 24 to 12, um, I don't know if they call it an inverter or a converter, one's up and one's down, but you get the drift. Uh, basically, I'm laughing because one of my chickens has just come and jumped in the bus. He's in the driver's seat, so hang on, we're going to go for a ride. Chicken's in control. Uh, in the dashboard, yeah, 12, a 24 to 12 converter there for your, um, if you want to put in a CD player, or if you want to put in a CB or UHF, uh, and, and a GPS, reverse camera, that's, we'll kind of look after that. That's pretty straightforward and easy, and they're not very expensive, just a basic um, converter it's going to be easy they're not as dear as the 24 to 12 charges because they're not charging they're just converting okay that's it for the bus I will talk to you um, a little bit more after about um, about 24 uh, 240 volt and uh, and some other things whatever it happens to be <laughs>